skinning the character. We're going to start with the parts that are going to be easier to skin. These areas are the ones where we will have a single join being attached to them. So let's start off with the head. Let's grab the hair, the eyebrows, the mouth, including the tongue and the teeth. And we're going to shift select the head joint. Now we're going to go into skin, bind skin, option box. Here we're going to first reset the settings. Here we're going to select under bind to select the joints. Bind method, we're going to keep it as is. And with that, let's go ahead and do apply and close. Grab your rotation tool. And let's test it out. And that works fine. For the eyes, now we're going to grab the eye geometry, then grab the eye joint. And we are going to repeat the same process. Select the eye group, then shift select the eye joint and press the letter G. If that doesn't work, just go back to skin, bind skin, then test it out. Repeat the process with the other eye. And then hit the G key. If we move the neck, everything should move with it. Now we're going to move on to the hands. Let's select the hand root and then select all the joints for the hand, but make sure to deselect all the ones that are labeled BE. Select the hand, the wrist, and all the way up to the forearm. Once that's selected, shift select the geometry of the hand, and now we can go into skin bind options here make sure you have bind to selected joints then we're changing weight distribution to neighbors and then we're changing the max influence to about a three clicking off maintain max influences let's go ahead and hit apply and close now go in and start testing your rig So when you do something like this and you see that much of influence in this other object, that's okay because we can definitely fix that later. Not a big deal. Usually hands can be very tricky, but this end up working out just fine. Up next, we're going to move down to the feet. And we're going to repeat the same process. Select the ankle joint. Shift select the foot geometry. So that's for me is going to be shoe left group. Go to skin. Bind skin option box. Here we can actually shift back to max influences. How about we reset the settings and just hit apply. Test it out. Oh. All right, so this is actually an issue here because uh, this one should have not been selected. So let's try that again. Let me just step back just before the binding and we'll select the bind ankle and the bind foot. And now with that geometry selected, go ahead and hit apply. Now test it up. 
repeat the same process on the other side remember to deselect the bone end for the ankle and the toe I'll select my shoe group for the right side this time and then hit apply test it out great let's repeat this one more time now with the tie select all the tie joints then select the tie group I will deselect the torus that goes around as I don't want no influencing that and then hit apply then test it out lastly we're gonna go ahead now and bind the skeleton to the actual character before doing that let's go ahead and tackle the hand here so let's do that real quick following the same steps we just did before remember select all of them deselect the VE ones shift select the arm and then go into bind skin option box make sure weight distribution neighbors max influence 3 check off maintain max influence hit apply test it out now we're going to bind the whole entire skeleton to the body now we're going to grab all the joints plus the mesh from the body include the arm forearm forearm root the hand joint the thigh joint, the pelvis, the chest, the body root joint, the neck joint, the head, and everything else. And then we're going to go into skin, and we're going to bind skin as well. I'll be selecting all this from my outliner, making sure they all have the minus button on. None of them have the plus sign. I'm just going to shift select the whole entire thing and now I will start deselecting the ones that I don't need so for instance we don't need any of the BEs so holding down control we're going to deselect all the BEs alright great that's going to be the first step our next step is going to be for us to deselect the ones that we have already bind so let's go ahead and let's deselect the ankle on the foot as well as the toe for both feet deselect the entire tie deselect the entire hand and each finger Deselect the forearm, but keep the shoulder. Deselect the eyes. Deselect the head. Keep the neck. Keep the chest. Keep the back. And keep the root. Keep the pelvis. Keep the thigh. Keep the knee. And now, go ahead and select your actual geometry. The head, the shirt, the face, the pants. I think that's it. Let's go ahead now and apply and close let's test this one out well almost there over here we have no joint close to it so I may have to add one more joint but for the rest things are working out pretty great so if you encounter something like this on your rig just step back before the binding right there and now I'll be required to create one more joint that will probably it can come from here from the neck to here or from the actual head joint to here I think I'm gonna do it from the head joint to here
Oh, that's not good. All right, I might have to keep troubleshooting this one. But for the most part, I'm pretty happy. That's just a minor inconvenience. Um, this is why I should have just done two instead of just a one. No, not a big deal, though. Is it a fix? But for the rest, I'm pretty happy with the results. Again, this influence here, we can fix that later. All right, this one works pretty good. Again, this, we can fix that issue later as well. So you see, it doesn't do it here. Huh, interesting. All right, so I will go ahead and kind of troubleshoot those little areas where I'm just going to include one more joint here for the shin. So that will be the end joint for the shin. And I'll also fix this little guy. And then we'll be ready to continue. However, for the most part, at this point, we are ready to move on into painting weights. Your skeleton right now should be completed. If you might need to troubleshoot it, make sure you do so.